Hey guys, Man 33 here, and welcome to Season 3, Episode 1 of Whitetail Wednesday. We just got a call from a Whitetail Doe, so not exactly the start I want. There are a bunch of uh, elk over there, but uh, hopefully we can get this doe in. I'd much rather have a, a buck show up, but um, if we have to shoot this doe, then we will. Hopefully you guys are having a good week so far. It's Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020, so uh, getting close to the end of the year now. So, yeah, hopefully this doe will come in. Well, I mean, preferably she would bring in a buck as well. And we could uh, take the shot at the buck instead of the doe. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys are having a good week so far. I'm having a pretty good week so far. Getting close to the end of the year, like I said. So, looking forward to 2021. Hopefully 2021 ends up being better than this year has been. But, uh, you know, can't really predict the future. Can't really tell. I uh, can't really say for sure what's going to happen next year. I mean, given what's already happened this year, we don't really know... For sure what's going to happen that's a elk over there give it a call but we don't care about her she can just do whatever she wants just want to get this these white tail coming in because it's called white tail wednesday so you know given the fact that this series is called Whitetail Wednesday. We want Whitetail, not Elk. And now it's starting to rain. Of course it is. Of course it's starting to rain. But we're in this hut. This uh, hunting tower, which has a bit of rain coming through it anyway. So I think we'll be dry for the most part. But it's not as if that really matters. Because it's not like I'm being caught in a downpour in real life. It's just a video game. Haven't gotten another call from that uh, doe though. So. Don't know if she's coming in. Or not. I'll uh, give another call here with the grunt caller. See if that brings uh, Whitetail in. Hopefully it does. If it takes too long for them to come in, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to like cut the edit here or soon, and then start recording again when they actually come in close, which might end up having to happen. There's no calls since that one uh, doe call from Whitetail. I got that call from that Ro uh, that Roosevelt elk cow, but uh. Nothing from Whitetail since that one doe call before I started actually recording uh, this week's episode. Now the rain stopped, so that's good. But yeah, no calls from uh, Whitetail since that first one. Hmm. Not too sure what I'm going to do here. Probably just going to cut the edit here now, and then we'll be back when they come in. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll be back when they show up. Okay, so the doe just called again. And she's definitely coming in, because the thing on the hunter make shows that she's close by. We'll walk over here because she... actually no I'll just stay here because she's coming in from like this area I think if I remember correctly from what was shown just a few seconds ago there she is oh god, <laughs> oh god. I'm sorry I just had to sneeze real bad there but there she is she's coming in 
only a doe. She's behind this tree here. There she is, just a doe. So nothing really good, nothing important. Just a doe here. 40 to 65 kilos, uh, yeah, score of zero because uh, females don't score anything. Like I said in the previous two seasons of both uh, Musket Monday and Whitetail Wednesday, does don't give dough. So that's why I prefer to shoot um, a male, you know, whether it be a Whitetail Buck or a Bull Moose or whatever. So come on in, just keep coming in. I have the uh, I have the bow with me today. So that's what we're going to be taking out these whitetail with. With the bow, I thought I saw someone walking over there, but I didn't. Just give another little call here. Bring her in. Hopefully, if you if you'll start walking towards me, that would be really nice. That would be much appreciated. Thank you for starting to walk in again. No, I don't like how she's doing. I would like her to come over here this way, right in front of me. Not really liking that. Okay, so she's coming in this way. Hopefully she'll give us a, a broadside shot. That would be ideal if she gives us a broadside shot. She's just stopping there. So I want you to come in like right here and stop broadside if you would please. Or you can just, okay thank you. I was just going to say, or you can just stand there and do nothing, just be annoying. Okay, that's not what I wanted you to do. Uh, that's not at all what I wanted you to do. But I got her. She is down there. And that's our first, that's gonna be our first harvest. For, ooh, geez. That's going to be our first harvest for Season 3 of Whitetail Wednesday. Unfortunately, only a doe. But, uh, better than nothing. Because, uh, we've had numerous episodes in both Season 1 and Season 2 of Whitetail Wednesday where we weren't able to shoot any animals. So, I'd rather take a doe over nothing at all, but... Obviously, I would rather take a buck over a doe. So we're gonna get up. We're gonna get back up here into this hunting tower, and uh, hopefully a buck will call. And if not, then we'll see you next time. I don't know. I'm gonna when I stop recording right now. I'm gonna ch uh, go into my editor and see how long the video is so far. And if it's around 10 minutes, then I'm gonna be back just to give the outro. But if not, then. Hope I'll be back when uh, a buck shows up. Alright, so the video is at just about 10 minutes long right now. So we're going to end Season 3, Episode 1 of White Till Wednesday right here. Unfortunately, we were only able to get a doe, not able to get a buck. But, you know, that's just how hunting works, both in uh, this game as well as in real life. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching, if anyone watches us anyway. Because uh, I currently still have zero views on Musket Monday Season 3 Episode 1 from this past Monday. But if anyone watches, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace and love.